Not long ago, I spent nine months in a girls' lockup. I was shooting a documentary chronicling the unlikely program, the writing and staging of a musical behind bars. People are always curious about what it was like shooting a movie inside a juvenile justice facility for girls. And even more curious about what it was like to be a resident there. I can't wait to see my family. Well, it wasn't what you'd expect. When you first walk into Warrenville, there's layers of gates and layers of security doors and metal detectors and stuff. Um, once you're in, it's it just it kind of takes you by surprise. Y'all make me nervous with that camera. I expected to meet a lot of really hardened, tough kids. And I was actually surprised at how welcoming most of the girls were. Night, you guys. Bye. But it didn't necessarily mean they were totally open to outsiders. Get me off that camera. Early interviews were pretty awkward. I'm nervous, but on the camera. Are you? Yeah. Start by just saying your name. Tell me more about that. I feel that it would like. I just can't sit down and just meet you and just pour my heart out to you. But if we talked before and I think I could trust you, do not talk to you. Sometimes it took handing over the camera to let the girls feel more in control. I hope you're not recording. <laughs> you got kind of stiff right there, like. <laughs> think about your own personal story. Think of something that really happened, something that really happened to you. We're going to put some of this together so that by the time we get to the fall, you will have a beautiful script. Some of these will become songs. So that's what our goal is. Another interesting thing was that to a lot of the girls, writing music while locked up wasn't a foreign concept. Tupac been in jail, Big Smile been in jail. A lot of them. 50 uh, been in jail, 50 Young Buck been, been in jail. I mean, you know, R. Kelly been in jail. I got his mug yeah. shot. <laughs> Especially when they grow up in bad neighborhoods, well, as we call it, in the hood, you know what I'm saying? The ghetto and go through a lot then. Like Tupac, a lot of his music I relate to because he real. Yeah. A lot of them write songs while they in jail. I write my songs while I'm incarcerated. The girls took the idea of personal music and ran with it. And they wrote everything from introspective songs for the musical to freestyle rap. But ultimately, the relaxed atmosphere of rehearsal was the exception, not the rule. I wondered how much of the sense of humor that a lot of the girls had was actually a necessity for coping with lockup. I just furnished my new house. You gonna see my new house? Okay. I just come on, let's go look. Look at this. Nice. Nice. Well, yeah, so. We got a good toilet. You see, the attic toilet, they got them, the metal ones. You see the attic toilet? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. And then my baby sit here. It's like a practice baby? No, that's just baby down. Yeah. Oh, that's baby down. Yes, this is your Ultimately, the musical was both an escape from the anxiety of being incarcerated and a direct confrontation of the situations that had led them to lock up. I'm really grateful that I got to witness this process. And I will never forget Warrenville and the girls. <laughs>